Hey guys, what's up? This is Ernest here and today I like to share with you a video I made when I took a vacation to an island called Koh San Lui in Thailand. I'm not a travel blogger. I have not done any travel reviews or destinations so far. Of course, I do honest reviews on softwares and apps made for making money. Making reviews and making you choose the right software is my job. So I took a short break from my work and I thought it will be a great idea if I can make a review on travel to Koh Sabvi in Thailand. And this is the vacation I took. I have already visited this place before. And I thought making a video on how to reach uh, Koh Samui from Bangkok will be a great idea. Because that is the usual question for anyone traveling to Koh Samui, the little beautiful island that is in the province of Suratani. So this is the airport. And that's me. The baggage claim area. I'm looking out for my bag. You can see right through the window. The bag is getting un unloaded onto the belt. You can tell in this. Going to Kosambi. You can leave from here. There's a bus going from here. You tell. Tell him this. Uh, how to go to how to go to go Sandy? Yes. You tell. Uh, uh, the next time from here, nine forty-five coming here, okay? And your boat twelve or right to customer one thirty. Right. Thank you. So you have to buy here. And now I am outside the airport, and I am heading towards a bus which is parked over there. The ticket price for the bus and the ferry is uh, 400 bahts. And that is bus up to the jetty, Dong Shop. And the ferry will take you to Nanton, Nathan, Nathan Port. Yeah, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, Nathan Port in Kosambi. And there they are waiting for the bus. And from there you have to take a minivan. The minivan is ready to leave. Well, let me find a good seat. Yeah, we found one. Here you have a complimentary coconut drink. And this is something made of milk, I guess. So these are the two complimentary drinks they give you. It's a 15 seater minivan and uh, it's quite spacious. And apart from me, just uh, five other. No, that's five including me. Only five of us. The driver, the lady who sold the ticket to us. And I think um, soon I'll get into the front seat because the views will be better, I guess. Here yeah, there's a seat blocking my view. There are two seats vacant in front. I'll go there so I'll have a better view. Yeah, the view is better and the, the seat, seats also are better. Only thing is a little cramped because there is no leg space in front like how it was in the earlier suite. But it's okay, no problem. A better view is always welcome. Now this drive to Tonsha port will take about 1 hour and 45 minutes and uh, during this time I will also talk to you about the different ways of traveling from uh, Bangkok to Koh Samui. The most affordable way is by taking a bus from uh, Mochit bus stand in Bangkok to Suratani. This will cost about $15 but it will take 11 hours journey. And from the bus station, 
in Surat Thani, you have to take a van and come to Sea Train Ferry. The second option is a train, overnight train. This starts from Lua Lampong in Bangkok to Surat Thani. The tickets will cost anywhere between $31 to $35 and takes between 12 to 14 hours journey. The trains are quite good, quite neat and you will have a good sleep overnight. And once you reach the Suratani railway station, you will again have to take a minivan to Citroen Ferry. And the third way is the one that I am showing right now. The airfare is about $45 from Don Wong Airport by Lion Air, Bangkok. So now we are inside the terminal. Good terminal, fairly clean, and you have a lot of uh, restaurants, toilets, clean toilets. And that, that's a place where you go to board in, and I'm just following the couple. You have a lot of plenty of sh shops where you can do a little bit of shopping too. To the ferry and to the toilet. Yes. What time I have to come? Hi? 12 o'clock. Yes, okay. So 12 o'clock I yes. have to come here? 1 uh, 11 uh, 45 come back here. 11.45 I yes. have to come back here. Yes. And I have to go inside and then uh, take the ferry there. Yes. Okay. Then I can take some break and then I'll come back. Yes. Okay. Kapun ka. Yeah guys, continuing from there, so as I said that on all the three ways of coming to Koswami through uh, Surat Thani, the common factor is the ferry, the miniman and the ferry. You have, cannot avoid the miniman and the ferry. And you have quite a lot of ferries to choose from. The Citran Ferry, the Raja Ferry to Devafu. And uh, if you have to choose a fast boat or the fast speed boat, then it will be the Lomfraya. And uh, it will be more expensive also. It will be about uh, 450 bahts by the speed boat. One thing is, it will go faster. It will take about 45 minutes to reach. Whereas these ferries will take about 1 hour 30 minutes to 1 hour 45 minutes to reach. Uh, for zombie. You can see a lot of good uh, eatables served there and uh, this is a just outside view. It looks like a mini airport. Quite clean. You can see the cars coming out from the ferry. Yeah, now I'm entering. It's time for me to get in. It's uh, 11.45 already. We have to get through, we have to get into the ferry, and that is the ferry there. It's a long walk up to there. That's a close up view. And now I am inside the ferry. You can see ordinary seats, this is out there, just outside, there's no cabin, it's outside. So you can get a better view from here. A regular travelers between the two places, they choose to sit over here. They don't want to go inside, they like to sit over here. Beautiful. Now I'll take you inside. It looks like a first ca class cabin, but there is no difference in price. Uh, 400 baht, either you can sit outside or you can sit inside. This is air conditioned. You can sit over here. And it's quite empty. Uh, I think it's because of uh, that COVID. It had closed down for COVID and there are less number of tourists. In the earlier trip I knew it was full. And I couldn't even go inside. I had to be satisfied sitting outside. It's quite empty. So 
So I'm free to choose wherever I want to sit. Wherever I want to sit, I can sit. There's absolutely no problem. And if I want to shift in between, also I can shift. Nobody will occupy my seat. And this is a small store inside eatables to spend time, drinks, TV. And there is a extreme front end. You can even sit here and enjoy the view as you travel. The chairs are quite comfortable and a lot of space, leg space. And there's one more easier way to travel from Bangkok directly to Koh Somvi. That is by air. Again, that is, starts from Swarnabhumi Airport from Bangkok. You have to take the Bangkok Airlines and cost about $128 or 4,500 bahts. That is the most expensive way to travel, but that is the easiest and most convenient. But then you miss all the thrill. You don't see all these things if you come by air. So this has a, a, a special effect by itself. You enjoy. And that's what you travel for. You want entertainment. You enjoy. Whether you come solo or you come with your family, you will enjoy coming by this ferry. This ferry is very good. See, I'm sitting here. I can see that you can see the leg space. Very comfortable. Quite a lot of leg space. This is a play area for the kids. So the kids also won't feel bored while traveling. They enjoy themselves. And I just want to show you the deck, the upper deck. You just go outside. This is the ladder or the stairs to take you up to the upper deck. Up we go. Yes. Very windy, but very pleasant. And even people who want to smoke, they can have a smoke here. It is written, no smoking area, but then I see people smoking everywhere on the upper deck. You can see the mountains. I'm sorry, the hills. And that's me. The wind, you can see all my hair <laughs> flying. Taking a look, taking a walk around. To be honest, I don't know how the time flew. And now it is reaching the Nathan port. After disembarking, you have to take your own uh, transport. So there are a lot of minivans like this over here. And this minivan charged about 100 bucks. How long will it take to go? 45 minutes. 45 minutes, yeah. okay. To take me to my hotel, and they dropped me right at the entrance of the hotel. So there is absolutely no issues about finding transport, even from the jetty. And what I liked about all these things is they don't wait for the van to be filled up. They leave on dot, whether it's full or not. So there's no waiting absolutely. That's something really great. Okay, now uh, they drop me at my hotel, Hotel Montaigne House Hotel. So this is a resort type, a lot of uh, cottages, beautiful view. Nice uh, cottages, but the uh, cottage rooms weren't all that good. I didn't like that very much. So I prefer to take the room. So the room was much bigger and cleaner. So these are, these are the cottages. From outside, it looks very nice. And I think if you have company, you wouldn't really mind if you come with the family. But uh, staying solo, I prefer the room. So this is a nice garden. Montian Hotel. Quite economical. I don't know whether it's because of the 
post pandemic uh, rates or it is always economical i don't know it but it was very very economical the breakfast was very good nothing to complain about you can just see the resort it looks very good and the best thing is it is facing the ocean from here you can see there is a this is the place where you can have breakfast and of course you can have your lunch and dinner and that is a swimming pool this is a bungalow type cottage there's a swimming pool here a beautiful swimming pool and that faces the sea you can go down here the steps and you can see white sand beautiful white sand it doesn't even stick to your leg even if it does stick by just shaking it dry it falls off and this is my room where i stayed it's fairly a large room it was quite good enough for me it was quite bright large bed and there was a balcony so that was quite good enough for me and even the bathroom was quite uh, clean it wasn't uh, posh but it was clean enough so friends with this i'm ending my trip details i hope you enjoyed being with me till the end and if you liked it you will be pleased to know that i'm making the part 2 as a continuation we'll show you around what's happening in gosombi please subscribe to my channel if you do not want to miss it also like and share my video to your friends and visit gosombi you will like the place it's awesome thank you bye